coming from lesson learned of uh, Istanbul cycle, uh, the IP and mainly DCDF, we develop our, our uh, development cooperation policy uh, for Abidjan cycle, which composed of like eight pillars. Uh, three pillars are main uh, and, 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 and uh, new, I can say, compared to, to, to the last cycle. Mainly, uh, uh, we are going to develop our, or already we have developed our, our uh, uh, postal cooperation strategy on depending on the uh, uh, postal development indicators. That means our, 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 our strategy will take into consideration to, to help countries to be more uh, resilient and more uh, you know, uh, reaching out. All these uh, development uh, uh, indicators we are going to take into consideration. The other point is, um, uh, is uh, about field presence. Uh, as you know, this, this cycle, we have a new field present uh, uh, approach in which we are going to, uh, as we said, to do more with less. So uh, the IP will open in different region, new offices. And for Arab region, instead of one office, we will have two offices with two uh, regional experts. And in the previous cycle, we have only one, one, one office in Cairo. So this is another um, you know, difference between Istanbul and Abidjan. The third one is they are more focused on uh, uh, government issue in order to, to uh, include them more because they are the policy maker. They are the one are looking after the postal sector. In the past, we don't have this kind of, of, of you know, specific uh, 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 activities um, developed or linked to, to specifically for the, the uh, uh, government authorities. This is the, 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 the main um, uh, changes from Istanbul to Abidjan. In addition to the, the other pillars, which is to, to, of course, to continue supporting operators to, to, you know, to develop their operational uh, you know, activities, uh, also to continue offering capacity building for, for different stakeholders, um, also to continue strengthening the South-South and Triangular uh, uh, cooperation, as well to uh, make the postal uh, more resilient, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, to be more resilient uh, compared to or in reaction to disasters. Those are the main uh, 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 development cooperation policy pillars, and you see the, the differences in the first three which I, I mentioned. Also coming from the uh, Abidjan strategy and the work proposal we have, so for Arab region uh, we have different uh, uh, strategies or intervention strategies for the main uh, uh, postal players. Uh, starting from the, as I, I, I mentioned before, from the uh, uh, decision makers, the ministries, the government, uh, we are going to uh, implement a specific project which will help them to uh, design and develop their, uh, their uh, 
uh, postal uh, policies. Of course, uh, taking into account the you know um, the challenges they are facing, the you know the new uh, environment created after the COVID-19, now as well the the technology and other uh, innovations that is right now affecting the postal sector either positively or negatively. This is number one. Number two, we have as well a specific uh, approach for regulators to help them to uh, develop and, and, and uh, have in place a regulatory framework as well um, how to, uh, to, to calculate the cost of the universal service obligation and other uh, uh, um, activities which will, will, uh, will help the regulators to, of course, to regulate the market, uh, which is, uh, you know, evolving, uh, uh, changes in the, in the postal market. And this one, we are looking to, you know, to benchmark with other organizations like ITU. The third pillar or the third player, the operator, we are going to operators. We are going to continue our our work with them uh, uh, in the to develop their quality of services uh, in order to be prepared for the e-commerce era. And uh, from the last uh, cycle, uh, uh, we. Uh, identify some, some countries in, in our region those who are now uh, they are in the game of e-commerce. As well, we are offering other uh, uh, activities under postal financial payment um, and to help also the uh, member countries to, to have um, uh, a wide basket of uh, services, uh, as well as I mentioned, to be more resilient for disaster. And those, all these activities will be addressed through different projects uh, with the budget available, and as, as well with some, uh, you know, uh, donation from uh, donors. And I think we have a very ambitious uh, 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 work plan for, for this cycle. I hope we are going to, with uh, uh, our restricted union, there are uh, uh, permanent uh, postal commission and the other player in the region to, to achieve all these activities during the cycle, this cycle. Indicators, key performance indicators, are linked to work proposal deliverables. So, and we have the mandate from the Congress. Uh, as generally as DCDF, we have um, different work proposals, maybe seven work proposals. So, we are going through different projects to achieve this uh, uh, different KBIs, which is linked to the deliverables. So how are we going to make sure that these um, deliverables and KBIs will be maintained, will be achieved? Of course, we are going to spare no effort with member countries to achieve these uh, uh, indicators through different uh, intervention and, uh, and development and technical assistance. Uh, uh, capacity building, for example, in, 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 with, with, with three main intervention modalities we are, we are using during the past and, and we will continue. Uh, training workshop, of course, when you train people, then you will make sure that they will achieve they agreed on, uh, uh, because we are going to train them on some areas which will um, help to achieve the deliverables by, and then 
to, uh, to maintain the KPIs. This is uh, number one. Number two, by sending uh, consultancy missions to some countries to help them to develop their action plans, their uh, roadmaps, and to follow them and to make a recommendation. And this is, I think this is the most important intervention which will deal directly with specific country, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, situation and to, you know, to guide them to, to, to and help them to, uh, to, to achieve more, to perform more and to help uh, if they are DOs or uh, ministries or regulators, it will be the same. The third, and it is also important, uh, in some countries, mainly the least developed countries, we do uh, uh, offer them uh, some equipment. For example, uh, the equipment which will help them to uh, improve their quality of service, uh, like uh, uh, IT equipment or um, uh, servers or computers or uh, vehicles, different, uh, which will improve the quality of service or like for the DOs. In, in addition, uh, we are going to, to hire consultant and, and uh, in, in, in Arab region, for mainly for the ORE projects, we are going to hire uh, a facilitator who will, uh, you know, will take the hands of different uh, countries in the process to achieve the KPI.